Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to One Skill channel. Today I will show you how you can add video backgrounds to your PowerPoint presentation. So as you can see in this example a video is playing in the background and I have inserted a few white text boxes on top of the video. I will show you how you can create buttons for your slides as well. For example this button takes you to a website where you can find lots of free high quality videos that you can use for your PowerPoint backgrounds. So that's cool. Another example of some people running around and some beautiful colorful bikes in the background. So really beautiful. Another example of person typing something on a keyboard. Beautiful. And sometimes it might happen that you don't have a video but you have some really beautiful photo and you want to use it. So don't worry, I will show you how you can create a zoom in effect in PowerPoint. And in this case you can find this photo and other beautiful photos on unsplash.com. Okay ladies and gentlemen, so let's not waste any time and let's get started with the tutorial. So let's insert a new blank slide. If you have something looking like this, don't worry, just go to layouts and choose blank. So first thing is that you of course need a video. So I have downloaded a few videos from this website, videos.pexels.com. And let me just open my folder. So just find your video, click it, select it, drag it and drop it. <laughs> on your slide. Just make sure that your video covers the whole slide and make sure that it has the same aspect ratio as your slide. So you can check your slide ratio by going to view, slide master, slide size and here you can see that you use either 4 to 3 or 16 to 9. So usually now everyone uses 16 to 9 and videos are as well most of the time 16 to 9, so you should have no problems at all. But if your video is looks smaller like this, so don't worry, just go to format, align to left, align to top, drag this corner and drag it so it covers the whole slide. Beautiful. Now if you would check out your presentation, you would see that video does not start automatically, so don't worry. You can go select a video, go to playback and select start automatically. Now we can check and we can see that the video starts automatically, so beautiful. And it depends on you if you want your video to start automatically or not. I think it looks nice when it starts automatically. Okay, and now the rest of the stuff is pretty easy, so these are just a couple of text boxes. So let's create these uh, text boxes. Let me just copy in the text. So it was lab to light 30 points. So go to insert, choose a text box. Let's paste the text. Okay. So the font I'm using is lab to light and the font size is uh, 30. Now let's just go to Format, Align and choose Align to Center so that the text box is in the center. So now we had here a smaller text box, I mean a text box with a smaller text and the font size is 11.3. Really funny font size, I don't know why it's 0.3. <laughs> okay, so... Yeah, this is our slide. So we can select this text box, hit Ctrl D, it will make a copy. Let's set the size to 11. And we can type anything we want, for example, PowerPoint PowerPoint Wisdom for free by one skill. Let's select the text box, go to Format, Align and align it to center. Beautiful. We can move it upwards a little bit so it's closer to this upper text box. Now let me just copy my logo. Put it 
paste it over here as well. Let me format it, align it to center. And I want to make sure that it has no animations. Okay. And yes, let me show you how you can create this kind of rounded button, okay? So just go to insert, choose, uh, click on shapes and choose rounded uh, rectangle with rounded corners, okay? So draw your rectangle, click and drag on this yellow button because with this yellow button you can manipulate how round the corners are. So maybe something like this. Let's make the outline white and weight the thinnest weight possible. It will look beautiful. And let's right click on it and edit text. We can type anything we want. For example, one skill, YouTube. Okay. Let's set the font to letter light. Font size 11. We can reduce the size. Let's align it to center. Okay, and of course we can make the fill transparent of these of this button. So just go to fill and choose no fill. So it's transparent. Now let me show you how you can add a link to your button. So let's just copy videopixels.com. Let's get back to our presentation. So let me just change this uh, pretty cool videos. Cool. Now you just uh, select your button, right click on it, go to hyperlink and just paste the address over here. Okay. And if you would check out this slide, you can click on this button. Whoops. Oh, I think uh, I have disconnected my internet so that no one disturbs me. Okay, let me activate the internet. Yes, I think I have internet. Okay, so let's check once again. Beautiful. So as you can see, the link works perfectly. And we can get back to our presentation. Let me switch off the internet once again so no one disturbs us. So yeah, basically that's it. You just insert a video on to your slide make sure that the video covers the whole slide and that's it you can put anything on top that you want and if you want to know how to animate your text boxes you can see here i have applied some animation to the text boxes so it's pretty easy to do for example let's choose this uh, text box select it go to animations and choose for example float in animation Make sure it goes, it flows down. And let's make sure that it starts with previous, which basically means that it starts automatically with the slides. So let's take, check it out. Beautiful. And we can make the duration, for example, two seconds. So it looks more subtle, doesn't go down so fast. Beautiful. And if we're lazy, we can just select this text box and hit animation painter and we can paint the same animation to the rest of the objects that we have on our slide. All we need to check right now is the timing when each of these animations start. So the first animation starts with previous, so this uh, big text box. And let's make sure that uh, the rest of the text boxes as well start with previous so all of them should flow down at the same time so let's check it out beautiful okay 
So now that we have learned how to insert a video background, let me show you how you can create a photo zoom effect if you only have a nice photo. Okay, so yeah, so we have created this slide. So what we can do, we can just uh, hit Ctrl D to duplicate it. Now let's just delete the background so that we're left with the white text boxes, which we cannot see because the text is white. Uh, let me copy this uh, photo. Let's paste it over here. Send it, send it to back. And as well, make sure that your photo has uh, the correct aspect ratio. For example, if your photo looks like, I don't know, looks like a square or something. So make sure that you make it aspect ratio 16 to 9 because now you will be able to fill your uh, slide perfectly, okay? So let me just undo this couple of moves. Okay, so now that our photo covers the slide beautifully, beautifully, is that a word? I don't know. Let's go to animations, animation pane. Uh, actually, let's delete everything so I can create it from scratch. So it's pretty easy. Just select your photo, go to animations and find this emphasis animation, which is called grow shrink. Okay. Now just make sure it starts with previous, which means basically it starts automatically. Now right click, effect options. Yes, you can, you, here you can set how, you know, how big you want your photo to zoom in. So let's leave it at 150. I think that's, that's great. You can even set it to auto reverse. So it zooms in, then it zooms back if you want. Think everything is good and I will just make the duration 20 seconds so it will look more subtle. So let's check out what we have. Beautiful. So as you can see the photo is zooming in nicely and yeah. So ladies and gentlemen you have officially learned how to create video backgrounds and how to create photo backgrounds with zoom in effect. So thank you for watching this video. I wish you a wonderful happy Eastern if you are celebrating Eastern. And yes, see you on my next video. Goodbye.